welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing a quick short update video, upgrade guide. Um, Max has released yet another thing for the MZW. I'm glad to share with you guys today. Today we're going to be changing the selector switches. You're like, oh, why would we need to change the selector switch? Well, right now I only have a selector switch on one side. So this was an ambi. They have the same on both sides. Uh, this one on this side was completely destroyed when I had to get it off. I had to like, like literally like saw saw into it and like try to get it off. Like it was impossible to get off, it, and it looked like it had a lock tight or something on it. Maybe it was supposed to be heated up, but hey, now you guys know that when you have to take this off, there's maybe a lock tight on it, so heat it up before you take it off. <laughs> My plan is to use a new Mac selectors, which you like. Why? Well, they're cooler. I like the look of them, and they have something very fancy. You like. What do they have fancy? Well, can you see this? Do you see? Do you see this? They literally glow in the dark, man. What the heck? Oh yeah, they also have a different option. If you're not too much, if you don't like the glow in the dark that much, like you don't, you want it to be a little bit more like chill. Well, then they have just small ones where it's just like in the tip. Obviously. I'm me, and you know me, I'm going way over the top, so uh, we're taking the ones that has a lot of glow in it. <laughs> so, when you buy these Max, you get two new screws, you get two selector switches. You can buy the Ambi, or you can buy the single one. The Ambi looks like this. The Ambi has, this is the main selector switch, then they have the Ambi version. And these are exactly the same, except there's no light on this, like no glow in the dark on this. Or else it's exactly the same. As you guys know, it's kind of easy to change things on the MTW. Oh yeah, by the way, I really love the grip on the new tactical trim. It's so nice. Well, let's remove this selector switch. It's very easy. This, you just use a normal, whatever this tool is called. Uh, this tool, that's what you use. <laughs> Don't know what it's called, sorry. You take off the selector switch. This is the original one. If you want to save it, you can save it. I am not going to save it. This is the new one I'm going to be putting on. It's obviously, very flashy, very cast lap. I like my MTW, it's just a little bit flashy. <laughs> um, there's a project coming in the future for this MTW, where this is going to be completely remade. And I'm going to change everything about it, what makes it this MTW MK18. Um, I'm gonna make it into a DMR. Yep, let's see. Works. Yep. Nice. Let's put on the other side. Let's put on the ambi. Let's see. This is supposed to be this way. Remember, if I was you people, I would, I would use the screws Max give you. The screws Max give you. Don't take this the wrong way, Wolverine. But these are not cutting it. Like, they're made out of butter. <laughs> the one uh, Max made a uh, thicker, more, like, they, they just seem better quality. Don't over tighten them. That's something I will give you a good tip. Well, for everyone who likes Ambi Selector, you still have Ambi here. You can still swap it. Completely fine. It's tiny. So. You're not gonna, when you're using this, you're not gonna just accidentally swap it around or, you know, flip it. It's also kind of hard to move because it is the MTW after all. So they tend to be really hard to move. Very nice. Let's see here. I like this. Well, I just want to show the new selector switch that Max has made. I like it a lot. It's super fancy. It's super cool. It's a little bit of flashy, you know. Anyways. New selector switch for Max. There's a lot of more stuff coming from Max. Um, and I love that I get to test all of it. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let me show you some sexism how it looks in the dark. Very nice.